Hey, I'm Dua Lipa, and this is my second most requested live Ask Anything chat. I just want to say thank you so much to Romeo for inviting me back to answer your questions about my single Be The One. Let's see what you guys want to know tonight. Um, okay, question one is from Emily from Los Angeles who says, whose idea was it to have Ansel Elgort in the Be The One video? Was it fun working with him? The video is so good. Um, well, I'm, I'm a fan of his work and I reached out um, because I, I, I just really wanted to work with him and it was, it was really exciting to get to work with an actor um, who really knows what he's doing. So I definitely got like some tips. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Andrea from Madrid said, what was it like working with Martin Garrix? Martin is an absolute dream to work with. We've become really, really good friends and he's always just so much fun to be around and a ball of energy. And yeah, I feel very lucky to, to, to have worked with him. And I think, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just been really, really nice. Stacy from Los Angeles said, what was your first concert to perform and what was the first concert you ever went to? The first concert I ever did was in Berlin um, it was quite a while ago now, but it was definitely the most scared I've ever been um, performing live. And the first concert I ever went to was Method Man and Red Man uh, in Kosovo when I was about 14 years old. And that was a lot of fun. I mean, yeah, God, that was really fun. Aaron Deep from Birmingham said, How's it, how does it feel to know you're famous in countries other than the UK? Uh, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really feel famous, but um, it's really nice to, to, to be recognised for my music. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to answer that question. Um, Nina from San Francisco said, what's your favourite app on your phone? And my favourite app is Instagram. Colleen from Tracy said, what is asking, what is your favourite piece of merch on your website? My favourite piece of merch is the Do It For President t-shirt. Um, it reminds me of the Blow Your Mind video, which was so much fun to film. And yeah, I, it's also really comfy too. Rajpreet from Montreal said what's your favorite part about touring uh my favorite part about touring is being able to go out and explore different places and experience different crowds and there's no i mean there's no crazier feeling than the the feeling you get just before you go on stage like the adrenaline rushing and and i don't know the butterflies and it's it's kind of like a mixture of excitement and nerves and adrenaline all at once um and that feeling's my absolute favorite um, Rita from Hamilton said, what made you decide the order of songs on the album or is it completely random? Um, well, the, the way I decided the order of the songs on the album wasn't chronologically by story, but it was more sonically where I spent a lot of time listening to the ends of, of some songs and the beginnings of others and making sure that one going into the other is, works well. And that's kind of how I figure out the set list for my live show. So it was, a lot it was quite a similar process to that um so sabrina from manchester says recently well on tour you posted that you had laryngitis and shared a video of you using an app on your phone to talk how do you think you could cope if you couldn't speak if you couldn't sing well sabrina i i was really ill and the reason i was using the, the app on my phone was so that I didn't have to use my voice until I had to perform for the show. I was really, really ill that day and I had to take a lot of medication, but um, it was it was also a really big show in LA and I didn't want to cancel it. So with the app, I, I managed to take as much rest as I could. Um, in, in, in which my, my throat felt okay to be able to sing and it was really hard to tackle. That was at the end of my tour, but um, I guess when I take some time out, I'm able to do anything really. Um, Nicole from Quil Quilms 
I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this, but it's spelled Q-U-I-L-M-E-S. Um, Nicole asks, do you have a pre, a ritual, pre, a pre-show ritual? Um, I like to just hang out with my band and relax and play lots of music and dance around and get in the mood for the show and also just talk about a lot of nonsense and lots of things anything really apart from what's about to happen on stage to kind of get my mind off that I get quite nervous before I go on stage so that really helps and lots of tea lots and lots of tea